Dr. Sai, thank you so much for being with us today and taking a moment to tell us a little bit about Resume. Sure. But first, I would love to hear a little bit about you and what you've been doing in urology over the last few years. Sure, sure. So, so my name is Lauren Sai. Uh, I'm a urologist based out of Austin, Texas with Austin Urology Institute. Uh, had been here for roughly two years or so and, and ongoing. Here at our practice, we see a wide variety of uh, urological conditions. Uh, what I tend to specialize a lot more in would be uh, male health and also uh, enlarged prostate or BPH. So one of the procedures that we're talking about today is something called Resume, uh, which is a one of the newer procedures that have been developed and is available. The most important thing about it is that it's it has been developed to where it's something where we don't necessarily have to do something in the operating room. And this is a procedure that can be done in clinic and it's definitely on a different uh, on a different level. That's great. So would you consider this to be minimally invasive or what would you, what category would this fall under? Correct, yeah, so, so this would be considered minimally invasive. Uh, and the best way I would describe it would be if you, if you think about treatment for enlarged prostate or BPH, uh, historically, it used to be okay. Well, you have these urinary symptoms. We'll give you some. We'll give you some medication. Right. Now, after a while, you know, maybe the medications aren't cutting it, or maybe patients have problems with the medication, or maybe they don't want to be on a medication right. anymore. And it used to be if if that was the situation, well, tough luck. Now we That's were talking. About, yeah. Now we're talking about either medications or surgery, right. which is more invasive. Cut to a few years down the line, uh, there have been new developments with our that are indeed minimally invasive, uh, Resume being one of them, the other being Urolopet, which we talked about prior. Right. Uh, and think of the, the Resume therapy as almost like a stopgap between medications and full-on surgery. Okay. And when we talk about full-on surgery, we're talking about procedures like the TERP, the whole up or you know, the Rotorooter, which has been lovingly referred to by a lot of men. Yes. Um, but the, the Resume is something that could be done on patients who either medications no longer work but don't really want to commit to a bigger surgery or procedure, right. uh, or patients who are, have been on medications but don't really want to be on medications anymore for the rest of their life. Uh, just because, you know, like, like other medications, the, the medications that we give for BPH oftentimes come with side effects that may not be great. Um, yeah. And then, you know, and then that's, if it's one less pill that we can get a patient to take, then we're helping them simplify their lives a little bit more. Exactly. And as you said, sometimes taking medications, especially long-term, just can give us some detrimental symptoms that we don't want. That's so great. this is so great that they have this middle ground option. Can you talk us through briefly what the process is? How does it work? Sure, so prior to uh, talking about the procedure, we tend to like to talk to patients first and evaluate them to see what their symptoms are. And, and then the most important part of this counseling process is really just to see what a, a gentleman's goal is, right? right? And so uh, the good the good news about BPH is that it's very rarely a life threatening situation, and so it's mostly based about based on the person's quality of life or how their life is with right. their symptoms. A man can have BPH and not be bothered, and if it you know if they're of the mindset of if it's not broken, it doesn't need to be fixed. We right. don't need to fix it. Uh, but if a man is very bothered or this is a, or if they're worried about their prostate health, that's when we start doing uh, certain studies in the office to one, evaluate how their prostate looks, two, evaluate how big their prostate is, and, and most of all, to, evalu uh, to evaluate which treatment's best for them. Okay. Because not all treatments are universal. Right. And right. So, so if someone comes here, they're definitely getting the right treatment for them. It's not correct. just here's what we do. They get a custom plan. Correct. That's yeah. right. And so and so any male that comes in for BPH, we don't automatically say, well, here, we're going to go ahead and do this procedure on you. It's more so, OK, we just met. We haven't even <laughs> bought you dinner yet. Uh, why don't we do some studies here and, and kind of figure out what is the best option? For yeah. You. And sometimes the option may just be observing their symptoms or taking medication. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a procedure. And so it's our goal and our job as urologists to help a patient make an informed decision and try to figure out what, uh, what is the best option for them in their life. That's great. So say you have a patient and the resume is the best option. Sure. What should they expect? Sure. So how the resume works uh, is it's a procedure that can be done either in the office 
and we, we take all the necessary precautions to make them comfortable. We use laughing gas, uh, we numb them up. Uh, but it's also something that if uh, a person uh, prefers, we can do in the operating room while they're asleep okay. with, with anesthesia. And so if they come in for an office procedure, their approach is the same. So it's minimally invasive and it's all done through the urethra. Okay. Uh, we use a specialized type of camera and a specialized type of uh, equipment that allows us to effectively deliver uh, water vapor or hot water vapor into the areas of the prostate that are responsible for urinary symptoms. Right. Okay. Uh, and so if you think about it, it's almost kind of an all natural way to treat prostate uh, or enlarged prostate. I love that. Yeah. Love all natural when we can. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so once we deliver the, the water vapor to the prostate tissue, all that heat that's in the vapor will disperse and effectively uh, destroy that prostate tissue. And so if you think about it, you know, if you, most guys will, will ask like, well, will I have instantaneous results? And the real answer is no, you may not notice an improvement right away. Okay. Uh, so you, because of the mechanism of how the resume works, you're gonna wanna give it some time, right? And right. so uh, you want time for the prostate to cool off, you want time for the prostate tissue to slowly die off, and you want time for the body to slowly reabsorb all that dead tissue. And so, what that translates to is a healing process that can take anywhere from two weeks up to three months. Okay. But most people by around two weeks or so will start noticing an improvement in their symptoms. And so a lot of people will try to confuse that and say, well, you know, I don't want to wait three months. You don't necessarily have to wait three months. Right. You'll start seeing an improvement and things will keep getting better up to three months. For about so. those three months. Correct. That sounds to me like a really great option, as you said, just to recap, for folks who are either taking medications long term and don't want to or want to get off that medication but don't want to go into a complete under-the-knife surgery, maybe want something more natural. Is there anything else you want to add on Resume before we finish up today? Sure. So, so keep in mind, uh, like we talked about, Resume is not for everybody. Uh, but with that said, if, if you feel like you're starting to have symptoms of BPH or enlarged prostate, uh, we always tell men it's, it's at least worth a conversation to talk about it. Uh, you know what, what their goals are. Right. Uh, maybe if it's even just a quick visit, just to you know come in and establish a baseline and get plugged into a urologist. We tell patients it's, it's always best to cast something early on before it ends up becoming a problem. Right. And so uh, resume happens to be a procedure that's fairly new. Uh, it's the technology behind it is great, uh, but it's just one of the many tools that we use uh, to treat patients with BPH and. You know, the, if there's any concerns or if there's any interest in talking about BPH or its treatments, uh, I would advise anyone to reach out to any urologist that they know uh, to at least start the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're noticing these signs and symptoms, it's absolutely okay to reach out, talk to your urologist, get an idea of what these symptoms mean. And for folks in the Austin area, you are absolutely welcome to see Dr. Sai, and you will be in wonderful hands. Thank you, we'd be glad to have you guys. Yes, thank you. Bye.